Today's video is going to be about honoring your father and mother. But before we get into that, we're going to play a little skit for you guys. But make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's roll in. Adaya! Adaya! Go! Just go! Adaya! Go! Just go! Adaya! Sir! Adaya! Sir! Oh, he always calling me and asking me to do something. I'm so sick of this. Adaya, I need you to take this trash out before I come back home. Yes, sir. Okay? Something in here is really foul. I need you to take it out. I don't have time. I have to run out. So can you please take this trash out for me? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not finna take out the trash. I am finna be on TikTok. And this dude is fat. Oh my god. <laughs> Two hours later. Adaya. Adaya. Sir. Do you know? How to honor your father? Yes. So why is this trash still here? I don't know. You don't, you don't know. Yeah. In this house. Yes, sir. I tell you to take out the trash. You take out the trash. Yes, sir. You will honor your father. Yes, sir. What you saw in that clip was not acceptable. Not at all. But disclaimer, no one was harmed in that video. But if you act like that, you need to open your Bible. The first scripture is Exodus 20 and 12. Exodus 20 and 12 tells us to honor our mother and father that our days on this earth may be long. So we must honor our parents if we want life, basically. Also, in Exodus 20 and 12 is the commandments, guys. What does Christ say about the commandments? Let's get that scripture. The next scripture we're going to go over is John 14 and 15. This is what Christ said. Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And you know what one of the commandments is? Honor your father and mother. The next scripture, you're going to need your apocrypha, so go ahead and pull it out. So the next scripture is Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach 3 and 3. Sirach 3 and 3 tells us to honor our Father, and that makes atonement for our sins. So have you ever sinned or transgressed law? Yes. And by honoring your Father, that makes atonement for your sins. So you're going to want to do that. Also, if you read down to verse 7 and 8, it says, The fear of the Lord will honor his Father. So if you really fear the Lord, you will honor your father. And also verse 8, it says, Honor thy father and mother both in word and deed. So not only do you honor them in your speech, but also in your work. Whatever you do, you must honor your father and mother. Okay, get your Bibles back out, your regular Bibles back out. We're going to go to Matthew 15 and 4. And this is another scripture about honoring your mother and father. Matthew 15 and 4 tells us, he said God commanded us to honor our father and mother, not to curse them. And if you don't honor them, the result is death. Next scripture is Ephesians 6 and 2. Ephesians 6 and 2 tell us to honor our mother and father. And that's the first commandment with promise. And what is that promise? Life. That things may go well with you as it says in verse 3. So we must honor our mother and father. This is very important and the most high stress is this all throughout the Bible that we, no matter how old we get, we must honor our parents. Right. And by honoring your father and mother, your life prolongeth, y'all. But if you don't, your life shortens. Death. 
We don't want that. We want to listen. So honor your parents. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you watching? Mom, I'm watching Corey Kenshin. Everybody watching Corey Kenshin. I don't want you watching any more Corey Kenshin, but I want you to watch more classes because that's what the features do. And I want this whole entire picture for you starting first with this dining room table. If it's disgusted, it needs to be cleaned. Do it now. Yes, ma'am. I'll clean the kitchen. You're about to get bought, all right? Where's my Corey Kenshin? Now, before we clean this kitchen, let's turn up some music. 